Hello students, this is Mr. K from Design Technology. I'm here to tell you a little bit about design and technology at GCSE in years 10 and 11. Um, now our curriculum is designed to build your appreciation of the products around you, um, to build your materials knowledge, your problem solving skills and your critical thinking skills in a practical way. So you will be making products, you will be solving problems that really exist doing real research, meeting real people, and hopefully making an impact on that world around you. A successful DT student should be interested in the world around them, be creative and innovative, uh, be a critical thinker and a problem solver, well organized and willing to put the effort into their work. You should also be proud of your work and keen to make a difference in the world. If you've enjoyed DT so far in Key Stage 3, I would highly recommend uh, giving it a go at GCSE as well. Following GCSE, you could be looking at careers in product design, engineering, architecture, interior design, applied maths and science jobs, business and entrepreneurship, and art and design careers as well. These are all linked to our course. Now, in year 10, um, you have the opportunity to, to actually have three DT lessons a week rather than the one we currently have. That opens up our time to allow much more interesting, much more in-depth and detailed projects as well as more open-ended projects. So you will be able to choose very much how your project flows and what you make of it. You'll be using more professional tools and software such as 3D CAD and 3D printing, and you'll be doing more electronics projects, uh, learning about plastics, woods and materials, and all of the processes that, that go into that. Um, and we'll cover a range of projects similar to what you have already done, just at a higher level in year 10. In year 11, that is the examined year of the GCSE, so there is 50% uh, of your marks come from the final exam at the end of year 11 and 50% comes from a final project that is actually set to you just before you start year 11. Now you get given a theme and this theme could be anything uh, and we don't know what your theme is going to be but in the past students have made furniture, they've made home storage, they've made products for people with determination, they've made travel accessories, lighting, um, shop displays, interior design projects, all sorts of different things. Uh, so you get a very open-ended theme and you, it's your, it's a, it'll be up to you to um, create an interesting product that is worth that top level at the end. Now, the assessment all happens in year 11, so you've got plenty of time to get ready for it. And uh, year 10 will be uh, a stepping stone up into that that higher end DT work that is designed to build your knowledge and give you an appreciation of all those um, topics that I've mentioned and allow you to also choose your specialist material. So it could be woods, it could be plastics, it could be papers and boards as well, modeling, it could be more digital and electronic, and you all have the opportunities to build those skills in DT. So if you're interested, um, please speak to me and I'll happily give you a little guide like this, which explains everything I've just said as well, and you can take that home. Um, any questions, don't, don't hesitate to ask me in DT.